Hi there, my name is Mitch, and I'm one of the founders here at JoinIn. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through our service. It's only eight minutes long, I'm gonna show you the back end and the member experience, and at the end, I'll tell you all about how you can learn more. Let's get started. Right after sign up, you'll be taken through two quick steps for onboarding. These are both skippable, but on the first step, make sure your currency and your profile language is correct. In the second step, you can set up your first membership type. You can skip this too, but since it's quick and easy, I'm gonna do it. There's also advanced options in case you have a more complex membership setup. I'll just define this as an annual membership that costs $100, does not automatically rebill, and it's once a year. Once that's done, you're taken to the dashboard. Once you're on your dashboard, you'll see prompts that will help you set up your account. They'll walk you through things like connecting payment processing, linking to your website, or adding your first member. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this up so you can see a live dashboard. Done. Now you see an account that's completely set up. Over the next few minutes, I'll highlight membership types, members, and go over a few of our key features before wrapping this up and telling you what next steps could be to learn more. Next, we're gonna talk about membership types. To get to this section, go to members and then membership types. Now, each organization has its own unique setup, so we've built powerful and flexible features into our membership type setups. We already showed how to create new membership types during onboarding, you can do more here. So we'll dig into the settings of an existing membership type. Now here, you'll see all the options for setting up your membership type. You can edit the pricing and the duration so that if it rebills monthly or it's a one-time payment every two years, you can set that up here. Also, you can set members only information for what your members see after they purchase and what they receive in their membership confirmation email. We have some more complex settings for setting up the question form for what information you collect when they join, as well as whether this membership type can be renewed or whether they're mapped to a new membership type. But we can dig into those details later. Now that we have membership types set up, we're gonna go through adding a member. Now there's a few ways that members can join your organization. Of course, a member can join themselves through your profile or you can add them through your admin dashboard. That's what we're gonna go over right now. Navigating to add a member brings up this form. There's a lot of options here for selecting the membership type, the quantity of members you wanna add, and then whether you're including an online payment, an offline payment, or no payment at all. We'll enter this information really quick. and add this member. Now, this member record has been created. You'll see it stores all the important information on behalf of this member and includes a timeline of when they joined. Updating member information from this record is easy. Simply click, edit as needed, and then save. There's also helpful actions here at the top including sending an email directly to this member, but we can go over that later. Now that you have a few members in your account, let's go to the members table. The members table is home base for a lot of organization admins. This is where you see all of your members in one place. You have the ability to filter by status, by membership type, by expiration date and join date, as well as do a search to find the member you're looking for. Now that we've covered the core parts of the platform, onboarding, your dashboard, setting up membership types, creating a member and the members table, I'm gonna quickly highlight the secondary features that are available in the menu before going to the member experience. First is automations. Automations are our integrations with other platforms. 
We have a variety of folks in the email marketing space, event space, and analytics space. Next is our communication features. We have quick and easy emails so that you can email segments or individual members in just a few clicks. We also have automated emails where you can view and manage different emails that are set up when triggered by membership events. Next, we have events for creating event listings and syncing with Eventbrite, a finances section to look at membership payments and payouts and set up taxes, as well as settings so you can manage the settings on your organization. And lastly, I'll take you back to the dashboard. Now, so far, we've gone over all of the tools available to admins of your organization. The next part, we're gonna transition over to a brief overview of the member experience. Now, each organization has their own profile, which can be viewed here or here. Go ahead and click that and it'll open in a new tab. Now, here's the simple profile that some organizations will use to direct their members where they can learn more about the organization or purchase and select their membership type. Now, each membership type does come with its own checkout link. So if you wanna skip the profile completely and send members when purchasing a membership directly to the checkout page for a quick conversion, that's available as well. Now, if I wanted to join this organization, it's quick and easy. I'd enter the information needed, as well as my payment details, and click join. As soon as it's processed, it takes you to the confirmation page, which org admins can customize with its own message, links, or videos. And the members have a few options to manage their membership. They can edit their information for recurring payments, they can edit payment details, and if a setting is allowed by the organization, they can cancel their membership from here. And lastly, let's go over the experience for a member who's coming back to your organization, not to join, but to look up an existing membership. They can either go directly to your profile and use this link in the corner, or there's a specific link which you can send to existing members. Now, they can enter their email address to do a quick lookup, if the member is found in your database and has a password set, it'll prompt them to log in. If they haven't set a password, a quick email confirmation will get them into their account. From here, this is the members portal for a logged in member. I just looked up my existing membership under my email and logged in. That's it for the demo. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to email us. Support at joinit.org, or just chat us using the widget in the bottom right hand corner. And feel free to get started. As you saw, it's super easy just to dig in and sign up. Thanks again for watching.